Good evening, good evening. Tonight, I would like to share with you a tale that demonstrates the hardships and heartache that the early pioneers went through to settle Captiva Island and the surrounding areas. In 1895, Herbert and Hattie Brainard, along with their two children, Anne and Gordon, moved all the way from Canada to Buck Key. This two mile long mangrove covered island sits just east of Captiva. You can see Buck Key below. Before they left Canada, Anne and Gordon's grandparents gave them each a gold coin. The Brainards became one of the first settlers of Buck Key and they earned their living growing citrus. As the story goes, in the evenings Hattie and her daughter Anne would row from Buck Key across the Roosevelt Channel to Captiva. They would walk to a special spot that was slightly elevated to watch the sunset. Anne loved the spot so much that at the young age of 10, she approached William Binder, Captiva's original homesteader. She offered him the gold coin that her grandparents had given her to purchase the small plot of land. Charmed by this spunky young girl, Mr. Binder agreed, and the lot of land became Anne's very own special place. Unfortunately, not long after the purchase, Anne stepped on a rusty nail. She developed tetanus and tragically died on September 13th, 1901. Her heartbroken parents, Herbert and Hattie, buried her on her piece of paradise. Captiva's historic cemetery now encompasses this spot. Anne's family surrounds her in the cemetery and her friend, Mr. Binder, is buried close by. Visitors often place shells on Anne's lamb-topped tombstone to honor the memory of this special girl. The Captiva Cemetery was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2013. It is a beautiful and stirring place, shaded by glorious sea grape trees. You can visit the beach behind the cemetery and see the same beautiful sunsets that Anne and her mother shared all those years ago. I hope you get to visit one day. My name is Nick Adams. Come and join me on the next one. If you'd like to see a video about Captiva's original homesteader, William Herbert Binder, click on this link. Please like and subscribe to our channel. If you hit the notification bell, it will let you know when new episodes are released. One of which will be about the chapel by the sea and the cemetery. Please help us to grow this channel by sharing with anyone you think might enjoy this content. Cheers. See you soon.